All right. Good morning. Um, yeah, I'm uh, looking after Spencer. Well, tonight slash this morning. It's now 6 a.m. He woke up about, I don't know, 5.30 or something. and Or maybe 5.45. He just doesn't want to go back to sleep. So, here he is. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, right now we've got the... Uh, uh, Crazy House Shield Arena being played, um, so I thought uh, we'll get into a few matches. Uh, this is played at the 3 plus 2 time control, um, and uh, you know it's fitting because uh, we've just announced that um, the 3 plus 2 Crazy House World Championship is um, going to be taking place. Here I've, I've sneakily picked up a, a bishop on b5. And if you look at Spencer's hair, it's just gone out of control again. Let's just come down a little bit so we can see the little guy. Hey bud, what's going on? Okay, knight at e2 and rook at g1 is mating here. Alright, so who's who's leading the Crazy House Shield Arena today? We've got the finisher well ahead. Uh, Katask is also playing. Look at the finisher, absolutely um, wonderful scoreline. Lots of lots of orange uh, on the board. Swall nineteen, Jan the Man Lee. How you going? Okay, getting hit on F seven early. Okay, pawn at, pawn at g5. So, what do I want to do here? Um, we could play like a bishop at h5, maybe, if I get captured on... Yeah, I could get captured on f6. We'll go for it. I can back this knight off or be more aggressive with knight at f2. Um, I feel like I feel like I'm gonna just retreat this one first. Play knight e8. The idea of bishop at h5 is, is just to stop the queen from coming out um, because then white only has a rook to, to place on the board. And then we'll. The bishop also covers f7 nicely. Finisher says, John Lee joined and is streaming. Yes, hello. Okay, I'm picking up a lot of material here. Alright, bud. Now, I don't know if Spencer's going to play ball or not, so we'll see. Um... How do I want to do this? I want to put queen on e2 first. Maybe we'll put the queen on e2. Because if knight at h4, king h3, queen at g2. Um, this way of doing it, I was going to either pick up some more material on f2 or f1. Did What's going on, bud? Why don't you sleep? Hmm? Spencer's uh, in the habit of grabbing everything right now, so my microphone looks very enticing, doesn't it? You want to grab my microphone, don't you? Oi! That was just a joke. You didn't have to grab the microphone. Oi! 
Okay, come on, watch the board. Stop trying to grab the microphone. PJ Kayak here, Katask, hey. Thanks for joining. Okay, we're taking on Andris here. We've not played Andris before. Oi. Um, so H6 may be preventing Bishop G5. I'm just going to play Bishop F4. Stop E5 from being played. But yeah, here G5 could be interesting. Um, if g5, I probably have to play bishop e3 just to defend the pawn because the idea would be to play g4. Um, but the question is whether or not you really want to push that, that g pawn. Okay, we'll, we'll come back here. So now this knight hanging here is, is uh, in the way of this queen. So um, there's possibly going to be a capture here. You take with the knight. Well, it's probably the pawn first, and then pawn, and then taking here and capturing here, or maybe like a pawn at pawn at d5 is also an option. Um, because you got you got to look at this carefully. If you play knight takes e5, knight takes e5 takes, and knight takes d3 takes, knight at c2 is not so good for white. Um, so we'll, we'll play pawn at d5. And if if black tries to counter, you can take, take, and then the queen will be looking at the knight at the end of that sequence. So if, if black wants to counter attack a piece, it's probably something like pawn at d4. Um, and then I, I don't mind capturing here and then recapturing the b on e3 because e5 will be hanging at the end of that one. So yeah, not not looking too far ahead at the moment. Um, I just figure white's developed sensibly enough, um, and and there should be some kind of advantage to be made over here on h5. Okay, bishop at h4. Um, I'm gonna just block that on f2 because I don't want to. I don't want to introduce the queen here. I think that's good for black, and then this knight on h5 would become useful on g3. So here, I don't mind if the the bishop is sacked on f2. Um, I can take e5 here, or I could castle. I think I should. I should grab some material and take e5. So let's do that. Opera in disguise. Good morning. Who's Opera in disguise? Is um can't tell who he is from his appearance. Opera in disguise. Um, yeah, PJ Kio Spencer is a mini John splitting image. Yes, I do get that a fair bit. Hey. People say you look like me. Just a little bit, maybe. I don't know. But you're not as ugly as your dad. You just you just got some of the features, so you can't be entirely the same. He's very cute. Aren't you? You're lucky you're cute, because you'd be in a lot more trouble if you weren't cute. Okay. So, it's hitting me on g2 and e5. Alright, bud. Take it easy. Um, yeah, there's a few options here. We could we could put a knight here. But I don't really like that one. I think pawn at g4. Um, I'm basically going to try to... Try to recapture an h5 if I lose e5.
And then, um, yeah, I may be getting checked on F2 after this. So, I gotta defend now. So either we go king e2 and and defend that way, or we sack on g4. I don't think a sack on g4 is called for. So I gotta I gotta protect e3. It it doesn't feel very nice this position. Knight e3 takes bishop c5, king e2, uh, queen takes bishop at f3. Pawn g4. It's starting to look look nice for black here. So I've, I don't know I've done it. I don't know I've played this one correctly. Um, uh, he's letting me step back this way. I'll go to f2. Black is black is doing uh, black is doing well here. I've uh, I felt I was better out of the opening, but not now. Um. Hmm. So knight at d2 is coming. <coughs> All right, I'm gonna. Am I gonna try? That? I gotta watch out for queen takes h2 as well because knight at g3 is a real threat. Um. Yeah, I'm I'm struggling here, aren't I? Well, I'm, I've got to I've got to stop Queen takes H2. I think that's a priority here. Um, not a D2 check is good, I think. Whoa, but hold on. Um, there's Knight at F3 or Knight at F5. I feel like I feel like I should play Knight at F5 to stop Pawn at H3. Ah, oh, you ran out of time. That's a shame. No, I, black black was pushing white there. I I got a bit complacent in the opening, and and at the point where I played pawn at g4, I, I didn't I didn't really like it that much because basically the the knight on h5 I was playing against, I just captured with a pawn, and um, it it wasn't that advantageous. Hey, what's up? What's up? Are you getting bored already? <coughs> Alright. Okay, we might we might have a break after this. Do we need a break or are you gonna behave? Hey, do you want a little bit of maybe I need to just uh Why are you squealing? Why are you squealing? It's not that bad. <laughs> not one of these again. Uh, Spencer has absolutely screamed down. Hey, that's my microphone. All right, you want to play with the mic? You want to play with the mic? Sorry, everyone, for microphone sounds, but I got to entertain Spencer somehow. Oh, I. It's got to make an awful sound for everyone. You know, everyone's ears is getting all this n nasty noise because you're playing with the microphone. Yeah. That's because you're playing with the microphone. Okay. Uh, no D5 played. So, here I feel... I can play Queen D8 or Queen G6. Queen G6, Knight C7, Bishop H3. Is it really worth it? Um, I don't think it is. We're coming back to D8. Yeah, it's all good, bud. It's all good. It's all good. What are you worried about? <sighs> hey, you on the microphone. Alright. Sorry, everyone. Sorry. Yes, crazy home. He sure fights you, doesn't give up. Yes. Hey, you're like your sister. Really determined. See, Bella used to break all of my microphones that, that had, um, all of my headsets that had a wire on them. So that's why I've now got a wireless one. 
See, I'm already prepared. You'd be grabbing a wire if it wasn't for Bella, right? But your sister's already taught me that I can't stream with a kid unless I've got a wireless headset. See, I'm a step ahead of you. I figured you out. Okay, bishop at e2. Um, so bishop g4 is just h3 is, is decent enough. Takes, takes. Mm. Yeah, I've got to think of how to progress here. I'm actually going to play bishop e6. Um, my progress here is probably more with knight at f4. If I play bishop g4, bishop c to g4, I think white well, can just play h3, takes, 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 knight d4, and something like queen g4, and the white and queen is comfortably placed um, where you can't really hit it, because all I've got is... is well, I've got a knight and a bishop, but... Oi! I just feel I've, I've got to go for knight at f4 here. Uh, I'm going to lose that knight on c6. Like, I'm not not even really thinking that far ahead. I'm just going to play practically and say I've... I'll suck the knight for the pawn and we'll just try to get some initiative first. Yeah, look at that hair, so gorgeous, but listen to him scream, there's nothing gorgeous about him scream. Oi! That's my microphone! That's my microphone, not your microphone. You want to talk into the microphone? My microphone. Oi! You wanna, uh, I'm going to let you touch it a little bit. I know you want to make horrible noises in everyone's ear. But it's not your microphone. It's just not. It's not your microphone. Stop touching it. Man, one day this guy is going to understand cause and effect. And, and then I'm going to be able to teach him that there's rewards if you behave well. And that there's, there's punishment if you don't behave well. But right now he doesn't get any of that. So it's, if it's not now, it's never. And if not happy, then scream. You do, right, you wanna, no, you want to hit the microphone. I can't get you to face forward. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. He's just quiet if he can look at the microphone. Okay, sorry. My opponent moved. Bishop at g3. Okay. Um, yeah, we can uh, take on g2 maybe. We can take on e2 maybe. Um, what options do we have here? Alright, I'm I'm gonna go for E2. <laughs> Hang on, bud. I just I just gotta keep pushing on light squares F3. Okay, we'll play pawn at h3 now. Okay, queen takes e5, getting out of the pin. Uh, Alright, hold on, buddy. Hold on. Oi. Yes, maybe you can distract him by giving him his own headset. Alright, okay. And he's got really sharp fingernails, so now he's like trying to pull my neck skin off. Alright, I'm gonna pause there. <laughs> okay, alright. You, you want something to play with? Hang on a sec. Let's see what you. Do you want a, do you want a little star? 
You want this one? Oh, there you go. Look, it's a star. Now let's see how long this lasts. Uh, it's usually a good look, and then at some point it doesn't do anything, so let's throw it away. Hey? Okay. Does it make noise when you shake it? Alright. Does it make noise when you throw it? Yep. Uh, he seems pretty happy with this, but that could all change in, in two seconds. Um, yes, so I'll, I'll pause for a moment. Um, yes, do, do check out the forum if you haven't already. Um, if you, well, I guess if you type in Crazy House into the forum, you should come up with one of the threads where you can register. Um, there is a thread in the, the general section. There's also a thread in the Crazy House World Championship team um, area. Um, I'll just look at, I'll just show you the general one. Yeah, so we've got a $2,000 prize pool. Um, Registration is now open for the next month. Um, closes uh, 15th March. Uh, if if you want to look in this one, you can. You can. Anyone can respond to this thread. The other thread is is restricted to those that sign up to the Crazy House World Cha World Championship team. So that's why I've made two posts. Um, you can check out the rules on the the detailed uh, page, which is the one in the Crazy House World Championship team page. Um, that spells out all the structure. Um, go and check it out. Go and register. We've already got. I think we already surpassed forty. Um, 40 uh, players um, possibly more I think we actually we, we've gone past 50 so yeah it's it's definitely going to be more than a bracket of 64 for the double elimination knockout I think given we only launched this a few days ago and we've got the, the good part of a whole month to go we've nearly reached 64 players registered already um Okay, so now I've just like paused, he's gone quiet just for a bit. Can I play again? Uh, I bet the, mo the moment like I, I try to play again, he'll, he'll start knocking around. Okay. Maybe we'll watch a few games, that might be easier. Um, let's go back to the tournament. Let's, let's go see what, what the finish is up to. We'll, we'll follow the finisher. Hang on. <laughs> right, hold on. <laughs> Alright, you, you can play with the microphone a little bit. I don't know what it is with the microphone. Are you tired? Do you want to go back to sleep? No? Okay. So the finisher with a nice position here, up a lot of material. He's just cleaning up this one. <laughs> okay guys, I'm going to take a break. I think this guy needs to do something else. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll come back. Alright. In the meantime, I'll, I'll leave it uh, on finisher TV so you can watch him play.
Alright, Spencer's had a sip of the bottle. Let's hope that calms him down. The finisher, let's let's take a quick look at this opening. Sorry, I didn't So it was a d4, bishop g5 early. Fairly symmetrical. And then the finisher is starting to, to push. So still looks very even here. Uh, and you sack the piece for two pawns. Try to make progress. He's picked up a piece for a pawn, and then now he's he's hitting on the dark squares. Yeah, nice nice slow grind from the finisher. He's just maneuvered around. I I, I quite I thought Black was doing quite all right in the opening to begin with. Um, looks like the finisher berserked here. How unusual! I seldom see the finisher berserk. Um, all right. So yes, the big threat here, knight h5 check. Um, that was Spencer burping just then. I gave him a sip of milk before. I was hoping that would settle him. Uh, I like bishop at f5 here because you can pick up another knight. I don't know if it works though because the rook op opens up. I thought while the king was still on h7, maybe bishop at f5 was a good one to get in. But here, black can maybe take this one. Okay. Dead band's got the increment, but the finish is still up on time. Uh, you got to take f6. You can't. You can't take e6. E6 is poisoned. Ah, knight of g6 is made. Alright. Dead band clearly didn't hear me. <laughs> Alright. So the finisher... Oi! The finisher with a clear lead in the event. Okay, playing below me. So, so guys, if, if you haven't seen the finisher before, the finisher is... Um, has been a very uh, good contributor to the game, um, setting up uh, elite crazy ass arenas. But he's also a very good, uh, a good player. He's uh, studied the game very hard in terms of openings, um, and and is generally considered one of the authorities uh, in uh, crazy house uh, theory. Uh, let's say so. Um, yeah, certainly for if, if you want to, you know, look at some opening ideas, certainly follow the finisher um, if you want to do that. So here we've, we've kind of left what I, what I would consider um, a theoretical line. Um, he's sacked on, on F2. Really, H3 is, is opening up a little bit of a weakness here, and so he's, he's parted with, with that. Queen H4 check uh, looks natural. Even if you can't see a, a strong continuation behind it, um, it it looked just like it wants to be played. Alternatively, you could play f5 um, because the rook is already lined up with with the king. He's chosen queen f6 check. Queen f6 is difficult to block, and also knight takes d4 could be could be something in future. But. He's taking a, a very different approach to any of my suggestions. Just he's basically um, consolidating the center here and then playing e5, which is also very sensible because the bishop gets to to come out um, and there's lots of pressure on d4. But yeah, I, it, knight takes e4 here. I think is could be playable. Queen e5 maybe. Sorry about Spencer. I might go after this game, guys. Um, so the, the trouble, the trouble for what here is if there's too many, too many trades that come off all at once. Then the king is is wide out of the open. So. Hold on, buddy. Oh. But I don't have a decisive move here. Um, if bishop takes g3, then knight at e7 check wins the queen. 
So that's why the finish is having a thing here. But he's going for it. Um, so maybe he's seen something, or maybe he's just decided he's going to take on f5 and then allow knight takes g3. But yeah, I would take white here. Um, I, I like I like the material advantage for white here. I feel that white can consolidate. Um, sorry, let me move the cam so you can actually see me. There we go. <laughs> Alright, I have to stand up, because this guy is uh, forcing me to do that. So, black very safe, but honestly, black is a whole queen down in terms of material. Um, e, takes, e takes d4 here. Um, the, the game plan for white here would be actually not necessarily to counter-attack quickly, but just take take as many pieces as you can and and defend 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 until black's initiative runs out if if you try to counter attack too early here with white you'll actually trade off pieces and that that plays in black's favor so um i would have gone e takes d4 over pawn at f5 and just just grinded with you know if if rook e8 check um possibly a pawn at e4 no maybe pawn at e5 um, see here, black's got another file open, so you know white's still up on material, and but but black has some avenues because if black can clear, you know d4, f4, you know their ideas. And knight at f4 is a real problem. Yes, Spencer's hair is getting even wilder. That's from Col Eelves. Oh, sorry, I hope I pronounced that right. Believe it or not, he, he already had a haircut which took his hair down a long way and it all just grew back. Um, he's got he's got really big hair for under one. So we we're kind of used to it, but whenever we go to the shopping centres, we get stopped all the time. Oh. Okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna see the end of this game, bud, and then we'll we'll call it a day. Okay, I gotta entertain him some other way. So knight at f2, that's a good move. Just looking to grab a heavy, either a rook or a queen. That's going to be very useful in the f file. But you can see what's happened here. White's tried to counterattack with pawn at f5 and um, and and grab some material when when you know it probably had to defend and and develop slowly. So here, knight takes e4 is strong. I think you you actually go for the pieces that are in the center of the board. I agree with this approach. Um, now you've got you've got ideas with knight at g3 potentially king d1 knight takes h1 and then knight at f2 is is playable there um, you may even be able to take f3 but that looks a bit more risky you have to calculate it very well i, I would actually just go knight takes h1 here i think it's quite straightforward pawn at f2 same idea very good um, going for h1, hitting the queen with tempo. So, are you going to be doing bug house stream anytime soon? Um, man, my, I can't, I can't really plan things too well at the moment. Um, possibly not, not just yet. I mean, you have a look. If I've, if I've got this thing in my arms, then uh, it's, <laughs> it's pretty difficult to plan anything. That's why I've been absent for a while, but it's not so bad for, for everyone to see what's going on here. As, unless you've heard him scream, you don't really know what <laughs> what it's like. Alright, last game. The finisher's going to clean this one up. Well played there. 
Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna head off, guys, because this guy's just not playing ball. Let's say bye, bye. All right, um, sign up for three plus two crazy house world championship. We'll see you next time. All right, take care.